I'm sorry. I can't give Cam a pass on this one. A lot of people you ask say make up excuses why it's okay for Cam to walk off the, the interview like that. And I'm sorry, he gets none from me. Now, if this was anybody else, I don't know. But you can't celebrate wins so hard and then turn around and act like a spoiled brat when you lose. It, it, it doesn't work that way. When you did that, you gave all the Cam haters everything they wanted. I swear to you, after that interview, everybody that hates you stood up, high-fived, and said, I told you so. And that is the last image of you for the next seven months. It's people who didn't, who didn't even watch you play. 100 million people watched Super Bowl. 70 million of them people never seen you play before. And that's the image that they have of you. Being a spoiled little brat after you didn't get your way at a football game. Now, I didn't have a problem when Marshawn Lynch did this last year because Marshawn Lynch did that his whole career. So it was nothing different. But when you dance and Superman and dab and smile and tell people, if you don't want me to do it, stop me. And when you win and do good, when you do bad, you have to take it, man. You, 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 you can't have sour grapes, man. I'm sorry, you should sit there. You don't even have to give nice answers. You don't have to smile. You have to like it. The corner. Crying his eyes out. Could barely speak, but he still sucked it up and went up there and gave that interview. And for you to sit there with your hood on, answering one, answer questions and looking to the ground, sucking your teeth. I thought that was in last year's season. Now I know that you didn't stop doing it. You didn't change the spool bright attitude. It's just that y'all never lost. So it was no reason to be a spool bright. So now I know that you will, that you didn't change at all. It's just that you wasn't losing. So we couldn't tell that you couldn't, you didn't change at all. Now I'm not saying Cam he was a bad guy. I'm saying he's, he, he acts like a spoiled brat. Now, was the interview pathetic? I'm not saying pathetic. I, I'll just say he act like a spoiled brat. I'm not saying pathetic because people have done it before. Shaq did it. Manning did it. Uh, Allison did it. It's been done before. But nobody has done it, has, has celebrated the way you celebrate your victories. So it's going to... Mm, Mm. And I can tell you this, I can tell you this, every player that seen you did that, do, do that, was happy. As much as they lie to the cameras and saying, well, I don't mind cam dancing, do, 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 in the back of their head, they're saying to themselves, I want to kill this guy. I want to injure him. Now, a lot of, uh, another thing, and so, that's not even what I'm mad about. What I'm mad about is the fumble recovery. You didn't jump on that ball, man. And a lot of people are making excuses about how, you know what, maybe you did some, maybe that, maybe he didn't want to jump on it. It's not cowardice, blah, blah, blah. It's cowardice. You figure to yourself, if I jump on this pile, I'm going to get my shit rocked. I might get the ball, but is it worth it? You know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to do it. And this is not me just jumping on cam. As a Ravens fan, Ravens fans know this. Last year, game against the Patriots. End of the game, Joe Flacco threw a bomb to Torrey Smith. Could have caught it, but seeing the DB coming, didn't want to get hit, so he didn't go for the ball. And I said the same stuff about Torrey Smith. Y'all did the exact same thing. Y'all didn't want to get hit, so y'all gave up on the play. And that's... I'm sorry, man. I... I, I I can't respect that. I can't. I just can't, man. The only thing good about the Super Bowl is, hey, I picked Denver to win. 
Everybody picked Panthers to win. But again, growing up a Ravens fan, we're taught one thing. Defense wins championships. I don't care how good your offense is. If it's a defense out there that can stop it. Offense might get you on primetime TV show um, schedules. But defense wins championships. Remember the year Peyton Manning won the MVP? Threw 50 touchdowns? What happened when you played number one defense? Demolished. Not just beat. Demolished. So, I don't, Will Cam be back? I don't know. This year seems like it was a fluke. It's a lot of holes he have to, the Panthers, there's a lot of good teams out there. In my humble opinion, no, they won't be back. They'll be close, but they won't be back. So, I hope they do come back because I, I do want Cam to redeem himself. Because what? <sighs> Hope here's my thing. Hopefully they lose three games next year in the beginning of the year, so we can find out if Cam really changed or not. Because they trick he tricked us this year. He was good for all the year long because he was winning, and we thought he changed from when he was back then with the towel over his head and stuff like that. Hopefully they lose the first three games and we see how Cam really is. Because what we saw, uh, I'm sorry, I just can't. I can't give him a pass. A lot of black people are giving him a pass, but I can't give him a pass. I'm sorry. Super Bowl losers rarely get the chance to lose again. Aaron Rodgers went, and look at him. Ain't been back since. Even though people claim he's the best quarterback in the world, whatever, he ain't been back since. Like I said, I hope he make, hopefully he make it back. But Cam, man up, man. Stop acting like a little kid. I'm out.